Make a wish. Count to three. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look, and you'll. Hey, yo, what is up, my nerds? It's your boy Wonk, and I'm back like a heart attack with some more gears. You know, I'm like one of the only people on YouTube posting this stuff. It's just, ugh, it's just craziness. Why is there no Gears players out there posting this stuff? And then there's all the Gears Pro players that stream, but they don't use YouTube, you know? And that's probably why Gears isn't as popular as it should be. But, you know, I mean, it's a really good game. I think this game started off really well. I mean, if you look at the rankings, it's like... Oh, there's a I'm ranked 900,000. Well, where where the hell did those players go? You know, and I think it's like that because I mean, there's nobody. Oh, you just got raped by. Uh, there's nobody posting. I mean, there's nobody. There's, it's not out there. And people and you know like and also because of the the retros and the uh, what a, what's the other gun? Um, the retros and and I asked permission to take that kill. I didn't just take it. So yeah, all those people that bitch about me stealing kills. But, um, yeah, so I think it's the retros and the sawed-offs, and, I mean, the hammer burst is kind of overpowered. The thing about the hammer burst, this is what I have about the rifle. The only gun that can, the only gun that can't down you with, um, without being an active within, like, maybe five seconds of seeing a person or two seconds of seeing a person is the Lancer. Like, if it's, if the Lancer is not active and you're shooting it at somebody... It, it doesn't down them unless, like, I don't know, it just doesn't down them. But, like, if you have a retro or a hammer burst, you can literally down them with one clip. And the Lancer, I mean, you can eventually down them because the clip is so big. But, you know what I'm saying, it, it takes a minute and you can end up, like, let's say, I mean, literally the Lancer, not active, falls short of every other gun, of all the other rifles. Like, the, the hammer burst, the... And the uh, retro, like literally, you can't stand up to it. Head, like heads up, you will lose every time. To, it, I mean, if you're the one with the lancer in your hand, that's that's why I don't really like that gun. Like that's why I think, I don't know, man. I just they need to just fix the stopping power. Maybe just get rid of it all together, or just I don't know, man. Make it balanced, man. Because like the hammer burst, like I can understand like if you're using the hammer burst, like I think if you get the entire clip of hammer burst bullets into a into a, like you whoever you're shooting then okay like they should go down you know like because i mean it's got to be strong enough to do that but i mean if they miss maybe two or three shots out of it then you know that that's oh snap my netflix started hold on if they like oh shit all right there we go um you know like if they if they miss a couple of shots in you then i don't you know you shouldn't go down to a hammer burst, you know, but like, I mean, it's balance issues, you always gotta work them out, and if you don't want to work them out, then don't put in that many weapons, but that motherfucker got stuck, but alright, so what I wanted to talk about in this commentary, actually, is uh, Tim Tebow, man, Tim Tebow and uh, Sean Payton, Sean Payton's a fucking idiot, and uh, he knew what was going on, Greg Ellis is probably done for forever, and uh, he should be, I'm sorry, man, like, when you, I'm sorry, like, alright, here's the way I see it, guys. I know football is like a, a like, uh, man sport and it's all greedy and stuff. This is football, you know, like as oppressor would say. I can understand that, man. I like, I mean, I like to, I like to see good hits and, and like somebody just get rocked off their ass and stuff like that. But like, here's the thing, like, every player in the NFL has a family to feed, you know, like, and when you're going out there trying to go, when you're going for headshots and stuff, not headshots, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you're going out to like literally just hurt somebody. Like, that's what you're aiming for, is to put somebody in the hospital. Like, you're, you're scum, man. Like, I can un like I can understand, like, accidents and shit, that happens all the fucking time. That's, that's whatever, man. But, like, when you go out to, like, to when, you, when you're when you trying to physically hurt somebody who's just trying to make a check just like you are, like, that, that pisses me off, man. That's just, that's just dirty, dude. Like, I don't know. And I'm glad, I'm, I, I think... The fine that uh, Sean Payton got, if he knew about it, which they say, which ESPN is saying that he did. Um, if, I mean, shit. If if he knew about all that shit going on, I mean, he deserves it, man. Like, I'm sorry, dude. You knew you like Greg Ellis is suspended indefinitely. So I think that's his name. His, whoever the defensive coordinator was at the time, he's suspended indefinitely. And uh, I mean, he should be too, man. Like he he. I'm honestly, he should get a ban. Like he's done. I mean, I, like, he should get a second chance, you know, like, to redeem himself and stuff like that. But, like, to, to have... Oh, oh, get bodied, son. To have that shit going on in your organization, that's, like, pitiful, you know, like... 
like a, just a pull to see who can hurt them. like i don't know man that's just scum to me i don't i really don't like the idea of that like because we're all like in my eyes we're all players just trying to make our money and you going out trying to t trying to end someone else's career that's just fucked up you know and that's that's the way i that's the lens i look at it through and uh if you if you look at it through like oh it's football then i mean you know like i think you, your world's a little bit smaller than the rest of us on planet earth because it's not all just about football with these guys like these dudes maybe they don't like i'm not saying that the football players are stupid but like maybe like they don't have any other like great skills maybe they didn't finish college so like maybe football is all they have and if you're going out there tearing acls and breaking legs then i mean what the hell like you know like how are these dudes supposed to make a check you know how, how are you supposed to maintain their lives they got to sell everything they get off me bitch oh man just learn how to wall bounce just that's all you got to do man you'll break people but also what i wanted to talk about in this commentary you see i barely even looked at that kid i was like oh he's gonna die but uh i um boom i didn't even know that kid was on the other side of the wall didn't even know he was there but uh i wanted to talk about tim tebow for a sec because i think he's in perfect position to take mark sanchez i had a problem with tim tebow taking kyle orton's job because i feel like kyle orton deserved it and I, he's better than tim tebow you know at at the quarterback position but i mean T tim tebow i didn't like tim like it's not that I don't like Tim Tebow as a person. I just didn't like that he got it off the popularity contest because, like, shit. Like, fucking, I mean, put Lil Wayne up there if, if it's a popularity contest. You know what I'm saying? It's just, if that's if that's the criteria or if that's what it takes to be an NFL quarterback, a starting quarterback is, like, fans holding up signs and screaming your name to get the position, then fuck, man. Like, put, like, shit, put Fergie up there or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like he didn't earn the job. I mean, I mean he did. Like, when he got the job, he did work with it, you know, so you can't hate him for that. But also, I think he's in perfect position to take Mark Sanchez's job because I don't like Mark Sanchez. Like, I feel like he left. He, he came into the NFL way too early. He should have. I mean, he started one year at uh, USC, maybe like the. And yeah, he started one full year at USC. He wasn't like phenomenal. You know, he wasn't freaking Sam Bradford or anything like that. He wasn't. Uh, he just wasn't like one of those quarterbacks where you say like, "Oh, I gotta take this dude in the first year, first year," and that's why he sucks now. But Tim to Tim Tebow, I think he's gonna do his thing, man. I think I think Tim T Tebow Mania is gonna come to New York like straight up, and Mark Sanchez is gonna get benched by the end of the year, and I can't wait to see it. Peace, y'all.